All right, so for our next routine, for quads last night, and you know what, it's funny, because I went through that quad workout and I didn't, I didn't lift a lot of, I didn't lift a lot of heavy weight. But I lift, I lifted what I, I, I could, you know, I, I pushed it to, to that, to that far, so I felt like I was lifting heavy, but I knew <laughs> the, the weight wasn't heavy, it just felt heavy. So, I did that and in my mind, I'm like, man, that was a good workout, you know, the intensity was good, you know, I got some good reps in, the weight wasn't what I wanted it to be, but cool. Man, I went to Walmart afterwards, and I'm walking through Walmart, and I'm like, man, why are my feet dragging? Why I can't lift my legs up? And by the time I got home, I was through. Man, man I was done. You know, stick the fork in me. I was just like, eat bed. You know, I ain't trying to do nothing else. So, <laughs> I, and the, the work I ended up jumping on me, you know, unexpectedly. Because I, I, I worked so much harder and lifted so much more than that. I didn't expect for it to jump on me the way that it did. Thought I was straight. <clears throat> but anyway, we got to the gym kind of late, about 9.30. So, had had to move swiftly because the gym closed at 11. So we, we got there, we warmed up with some leg extensions, just you know, just basic. Everybody you know does it, gets a little little blood in the muscle and the in the knees, and get you warmed up a little bit. So yeah, we we got there, we did the the warm up with the leg extensions, couple sets like two. Maybe three, just just repping it out. Then we went to the classroom, the aerobic room, and did lunges in the AC. <laughs> um, so it was, we got that done. And usually I try to take about 15 steps going and 15 steps coming back. Count my steps. Got out of there, and here's where I think. I did some, some good work right here. Uh, I superset leg extensions with leg press. I usually try to put my feet close together on a leg press. Whenever I do like a machine, some type of machine squat or something like that, I try to put my legs and my feet close together because you can't do it any other time. You can't put your feet that close together when you're squatting free weight, you know, so. Whenever I do like leg press, hack squat, machine squats or whatever, I always try to put my feet close together. So we superset the leg extensions with the leg press and it, it was it was it was kinda rough. I do that often, but this time I tried to take my leg extensions to, to failure. And on the last set, I really pushed it, man. I, I went, I went to failure, rested for like five seconds, went to failure again, dropped the weight, went to failure again, dropped the weight, went to failure again, and so that ended up, <laughs> that ended up. I think that's what rocked me a little bit. And so after that, we went to the to the machine leg press and did some single single leg presses, kind of on an angle. Cause I, I feel it more, I feel it grab a little bit of hamstring, grab a little bit of glute, and when I'm really, really squeezing, I feel it hit my teardrop, so we did those, three sets of those, and it was, was kind of rough. I failed on like two of those sets. You find, you find out that part, one part, one side of your body is stronger than the other. My right side, which I'm right handed, you know, I'm right side dominant. It's actually my weaker side. My left side, for some reason, is just strong, you know. I could cruise through single leg press, you know, uh, any kind of dumbbell movements or whatever. I could cruise through that on my left side, but my right side struggles. So we, we finished up there, 
And to finish off the quad workout, I made sure I did some type of squat movement. And I got up under that front squat. Didn't squat a lot, just playing on each side. Got real deep, put my feet um, a little bit inside shoulder width and repped out for 12 reps. And that's, you know, doing squats at the end of your workout is something that my coach made me start doing in December. And you find that, man, you can't squat all that weight, you know, that you used to squat when you're doing squats last. Squats are all rough at the end. You probably, the, I think the most I've ever worked up to is about 500 on back squat, but Usually I can squat some 600 plus squatter. I hadn't seen that. I hadn't seen that this year. Squatting, squatting last. So, but it's good though because you don't have to put all that weight on, put all that stress on your joints. Get probably better work getting getting it done last and doing it first. So, we did the front squats, and I, I usually do front squats as I get closer to the show, like maybe two or three weeks out because it's a lot safer and as a taller competitor, I'm six feet tall, I just feel like front squats, it, it stiffens up my form and it, it, it hits the quads, the outer sweep uh, quads a lot better than back squat. So I usually opt for front squats when I'm a couple weeks out from the show, get real deep, get anywhere from 12 to 15 reps and always doing last. You feel you feel a big difference doing the last than, than doing the first. And that was it for the quad workout. Felt great about it, felt good about it. I'm happy I waited to I was focused and, and ready to hit the gym. So today we're looking at triceps during lunch and back tonight. Probably do some abs somewhere in there, either AM or PM workout. And that'll be it. That'll be it. We take a Saturday off, meet with the coach, get things going there, and figure out the approach for next week. Gonna train Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then we on the road to Nationals. Mecco camera, Friday, November the 15th, excited, amped up, whatever you want to call it, I'm all that, plus some, so, see you guys later.